Car number four, here was Rich Rudman. Here's what I think I just learned. Startup sequence, we would turn on this breaker and you see there's no light on the hairball. Now there's a light because we just turned on the breaker. Mm -hmm. Then we would turn on the 12 volt power. We'll hear the fan start to come up in a moment. Then we would turn on the master key, which it will now light. And we can hear it. Now the car is live and hot. Now, to, the turn off sequence is exactly the reverse. One. I got it this time, I think. Yep. Two. Three. Yep. Now, if things aren't responding, what to check is there's a breaker at the front of each pack. Fuse. Fuse. Fuse at the front of each pack. Yep. There is this breaker. And where else are there fuses or things? That's it. Okay. So, you got so those are things to check. If the wiring still looks like the wiring does right now, then that means the wiring is probably correct. Here's our charger. We have a household 110 to plug the car in. Um, yeah, that would be what to check. The danger points on the car right now are these two terminals. If those were bridged, that would be full pack voltage. Uh, so covering those up is going to make the car more kid safe. Um, when this is off, and if these two were fully covered, what else would be a danger point for kids around the car, Rich? Or anyone? Um, if they put their hand in, in top of these cables on each side. In, uh, if they got underneath the plexiglass right. cover. And or if they put something in the, in the back of here. Okay, or okay. inside the, yep. the plugs. Right. But um, barring that, if the packs are covered, and if fingers don't go inside, or if we putty in, uh, or pot in the cabling. These are the only points to cover right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, and when we put one of the carbon fiber shells on the car, it's all much more difficult to access. Uh, so that's a good way to store it, because luckily we've got a whole bunch of carbon fiber shells. So that's something we have. Excellent.